I'm going to teach you how to maximize your health, optimize things that you're already doing by just adding one more tool to your kit to make it 10 to 50% better. This is my whole goal is to try and just see what I'm doing, what my clients and other people are doing in their daily life, and what is one metric you can change to it to have a drastic benefit. Today's video is going to be focused on just that. This patch is actually extra strong and kind of lifts away your nose. I wear this when I sleep. I find that my nose doesn't give me a sufficient amount of oxygen. So when I put this on and I'm sleeping, it allows me to keep my mouth shut and focus more on the nasal breathing, which activates your parasympathetic breathing. Don't know too much, but I know that that's what helps you get your heart rate down to a resting mode and sort of relax your entire brain and body. And with bigger nostrils, Nasal breathing is also directly linked to a reduce in stress and anxiety, uh, again, by releasing certain um, things in your brain and body that are telling yourself to relax. You have enough oxygen, um, you can not stress or worry about it. And these things are super easy. I wore them today when I was working out in the gym um, and allowed for me to recover a lot quicker in between exercises. And again, while I'm sleeping, I don't wake up with a dry mouth. Um, or gasping for water or air because my nose is open and it's breathing steadily throughout the night. I think that these are a huge game changer. I'm excited to even wear them on an airplane or um, out in public on different tasks that I normally would uh, you know, not realize that I'm losing a benefit. It's an easy thing to stack on as a habit. You have to breathe to stay alive, so why not make that breathing easier for yourself and optimize it? Bring a Band-Aid on my nose and the benefits that I get from it instantly are insane. If there's one thing out of this list I would have people try, it's this. It's the simplest thing to do. And if you can get over how it makes you look or just do it when you're behind closed doors, you will notice an instant change in how you feel, how you breathe, um, and how that improved breathing impacts so many more things that you wouldn't even think unless you just throw this simple patch on your face. I didn't want to take mine off, so we're just going to show my test subject what her nose looks like natty. So show, give him the whole lay of the land. Already breathe so much clearer. Would you recommend them? Highly. Can you hold this? Mm -hmm. Can you say that all again? Say that you would highly recommend. I would highly recommend these. This episode. This episode is brought to you by Breathe Right. Breathe Right. So every morning when I wake up, I immediately drink a glass of water, and I've been trying to play with this idea of how to maximize that glass of water, from greens powders to apple cider vinegar to creatine. And while I do add those things in. One of the most important things I add is a supplement recommended by Gary Brecka. Gary Brecka has worked with a lot of A-list celebrities, um, most notably Dana White in the recent news exposure. And he speaks a lot about a supplement called Baja Gold Mineral Sea Salt. So it's this right here. The texture of it is very thick. It's a very thick salt. The salt is very sticky and thick, clumpy together. and if you compare it to a normal Himalayan sea salt, it will be almost like three times the size of a single grain. But I only use this for that morning drink, and it really helps with all the different uh, minerals that it's rich in, so magnesium, potassium, calcium, and different trace minerals. Um, they basically help with uh, nerve function, muscle contraction, and maintaining electrolyte balance. So I'll do this with that morning drink of the other items I listed, or if I can just have one thing in my water, it's this salt. So I was doing Himalayan pink sea salt, but Gary Brecka and then further research uh, showed me that most of the Himalayan sea salt um, that we get in the US is mined from China. And when it's mined, it has a bunch of byproducts of different strong metals um, and such that actually impact our health in a negative way. So this is the brand that he recommended the most. The balancing of electrolytes, um, which are essential for your body's hydration and muscle function, um, are lost through sweating. And also when you're sleeping for six to eight hours, you're basically going that long without sufficient water. So waking up, you want to kind of maximize how much water you're getting into your body and how quickly. And so that salt allows you to actually take that water and bind it through your muscles and vital organs to make you not only feel hydrated uh, quicker, but also get your body's metabolism um, bumping up a little bit quicker and digestion moving faster. It's just everything you want sort of in a time of taking six to eight hours of sleeping and not a lot of nutrients coming in. How can you supercharge and optimize that first thing that you put in your body? It's with this salt. I would recommend this to everyone as well. It's another easy hack that you can add into your life and it's pretty cost effective. 
I know that after the podcast that Gary Brecker went on recently on Diaries of a CEO, I bought the salt right after, then the next day it was sold out. So I'll put a link in the description below if you can find it. Um, it's great. So I'll just take literally a pinch out of the bag, drop it in the water. I don't really measure it out, but a nice little hefty pinch and it really helps my day get started moving in the right direction and an easy way to optimize the first thing you drink in the morning with some Baja Gold mineral sea salt. Use this next tip mainly in the evenings, unless I'm working um, a lot throughout the day looking at a screen, but these blue light glasses, you know, I used to think they were just sort of people that wanted to look cool, but after trying a pair and getting my own, they actually make a huge world of difference. So there's basically a bunch of different lights going on um, in our everyday life, and you can only see a couple of them. And it just takes a lens like this, this blocks out the blue light to really understand the difference that these make on your life. So I can actually put them on the camera lens and you'll see a difference. So you can see it looks a lot lighter and blue right now, but when I put this lens onto the camera, you can see it really changes out the blue light. It looks a lot warmer when I take them off to when I put them on. And it's crazy how much of a difference it makes at night. If you're just staring at the screen by itself, you'll see and notice that you, when you turn it off, your body still feels like it's energized and wired. But when you're using these, it's almost like working with you know, a backlight behind your monitor or just like low lights. And it allows you to transition from staring at a screen to going into rest a lot quicker. Obviously, you don't want to be rested during the day while you're working. You want to have that energy, but still, this doesn't take away from that. During the day, it actually just takes away the eye strain. So I find myself uh, not getting a headache or not having some type of like mental eye strain while I'm looking at screens um, throughout the day because these are blocking out that harsh blue light. Uh, again, the nighttime routine is one of my favorites to use, but even if you're working in an office, like with those high fluorescent lights that are really bright, just tossing these bad boys on, You'll look cool, see better, feel better. It's an easy way to hack on um, to what you're already doing. I've always been really focused on getting my eight to six hours of sleep every night, but this little ring, the Aura Ring, has drastically changed what is going on in my body during those six to eight hours of sleep. So I'm gonna pull up this app on my phone and I'll go through it with you. If you don't have the paid plan, which is around five or six dollars a month, it's just going to show you a simple metric of readiness sleep uh, and what the scores are. But the five to six dollars a month, in addition to buying the ring, allows you to actually go into the readiness score and give a breakdown of what you've done the past week and why your score is at where it's at. And then in the bottom, you can actually click on readiness. I can get a view of my resting heart rate, my body temperature, um, how my heart rate varied uh, through the night. And then if it's optimal or suboptimal, whatever it is, I can give a baseline reading of the contributors. Um, and it will tell me the recovery index, so the amount of rest that I had um, last night did not match up to the amount of activity that I did yesterday during the day. So that lets me know that I need to kind of focus more, a little bit more on rest today um, and shoot my exercises a little bit differently, maybe not as intense today so that I can recover better. Um, this thing is great depending on how I feel and I look in the app, it kind of always lines up. If I got a bad night's sleep, I know what I'm you know, looking at in this app. It's usually going to be in the 60s, 70s, low 70s. Um, but it's great for sleep overall as well. So I can look and see that I had a 90 sleep score last night. Um, I had more you know, time in bed because it was a Sunday yesterday. So I was in bed a little bit longer, but I can see that my REM sleep was a little low. Um, if I'm looking at something like from a couple of days ago where I got like a bad score, like a 76, um, the total sleep will be lower. And it's through this that I've learned um, you know, when I need to stop eating. So for me, an hour and a half, at least 90 minutes before I go to bed, I need to stop eating. Because if I don't, my body is basically working on that food throughout the night and it doesn't allow me to get into my rapid eye movement sleep or REM sleep, which is like the restorative sleep. My body's gonna be working on digesting that food and by the time that it's done, it'll be out of that phase in my REM um, and I won't get the restful sleep that I need. So just laying in bed for six to eight hours and getting the time isn't necessarily you know, the most beneficial thing. Trying to optimize that health with um, an aura ring or some type of sleep tracker is great because it'll give you individual factors that are affecting your sleep on how you can change those. So whether it's hydration or eating too late um, or staying and getting light in your eyes too late, um, this thing is really great for picking out those individual things that can just make you one to 10 to 50% better sleep. And we all know that sleep is the most vital stage in our day. So if you can just make that 10% better, it has such a drastic effect on your 
um, eating patterns, your weight moving up or down on the scale, um, your energy levels the next day. So it is quite an investment. It's a few hundred dollars for the ring and then five to six dollars a month for the app. But on money spent, it's a huge investment when you know investing in sleep already from a time perspective is so important. So putting money behind that and trying to make the most out of that time that you're sleeping, it's, it's night and day in my life. It's something that I recommend if you can make it happen, make it happen. Being an athlete in college, high school, and then always like trying to trace that athletic look even after leaving sports. I've always really focused on wearing, you know, I love Nike running shoes. Um, they always have high arches, you know, they're like the casual running shoes that are very supportive, very thick. And what I've found that those shoes sort of make me displace my weight on the outside of my foot. And it makes it a lot more painful in recovery over time. So one thing is just lifting shoes that are flat. People wear Converse or Vans. Um, or like Nike Metcons, but wearing Vivo barefoot shoes that don't have any type of bridge gap, they're literally flat, it's like walking barefoot, but with a cover around your, shoe, your foot, they make a world of a difference. So the first couple days, you'll be sore because you're using different muscles in your foot to actually propel you forward while you're walking. The people that run in these, psychotic, um, I ran once and it felt actually really good, but I've walked a lot of miles in these in the month that I've had them. I even took them to Disney World um, a week ago and did one day around the parks. My feet were so sore. Um, so maybe give it a little bit more time before you use it for a whole day of walking. Like I'm taking 30,000 steps, but I walk one to two times a day for two to four miles. And I've found that my toe, feet, they just feel so much better. It feels so much more natural. You can't really feel anything under the feet unless you're stepping on like jagged rocks but just the feeling of feeling my whole foot hit the ground and my whole foot pressing through using each toe, getting that separation of the toes in the box. These shoes have a wider toe chamber so that it allows your toes to actually spread out and not be confined in the space. And like anything in the health industry, it's kind of like been you know maximized for profit and not longevity, just like how you make a quick buck. These are one of these solutions that's kind of focus on the longevity of your toe and foot health. Toe and foot health are probably like one of the most important things in movement sector because they're the foundation for everything that we do. So increasing um, the activation in each of your toes and, and feet muscles to propel you forward and walk backwards, um, land in jumps. There's just a lot more carryover to everything that we do in life and the functionality of them are unmatched with any other shoe that I've had. Um, Dress shoes, yes, I mean, I haven't tried those, but probably still would wear them. But in terms of um, walking, running, lifting, there hasn't been one that I've done outside of these shoes since I've gotten them. Besides the second day at Disney World, I wore my normal walking shoes because it's just that much, 30,000, only a month of using these. I'll probably be able to, next time I go, just use the barefoot shoes throughout. But besides that one instance, these shoes have been amazing. I would recommend these to literally everyone um, that I can talk to. I used to think they were a little bit hippie-ish and just, you know, people wanting to be one with the earth. But now that's literally me. I want to be one with the earth after using these because they make such a drastic difference on my foot health. And the foot health directly links to hamstring and lower backs and knees. So fixing these foundationally things that we use so often, just adding one different type of shoes can make such a drastic impact on the rest of our bodies. I literally recommend these. I, I can recommend them all day, all day all day. Please try a pair if you can. Uh, I use Ver Vivo Barefoot. I've seen a couple other ones. I didn't want to get the toe spacer ones, but these ones are great. I can feel my individual toes actually pressing through the ground to propel me forward and not just peg leg, just pushing through the shoes and just relying on that. There's a lot more um, factors that I'm feeling when I'm walking, standing, running than I would in a, you know normal running shoes. And I think that it's a huge benefit to be able to feel those and actually feel through your whole foot and its natural movement system. The only problem that I have had is what I'll show. These shoes kind of bend weird um, where the big toe is and it kind of crunches the foot and puts a little bit of a pressure on my feet and I have these like blisters that get from it when I don't wear socks with them or I just wear one layer of socks. I've hacked this but I do have to wear this every time where I'll double up my socks and then it goes away. There's no pain left over or markings but like today I wore these with no socks and you can see on my feet that there's red marks and kind of blisters forming just from the hour I did. So very important that you either have to wear, break them in, wear band-aids over that spot or double up on the socks um, to not have that negative aspect affect your feet. But besides that, I think the benefit far outweighs the negatives.